UC San Diego, Division of Trauma, Surgical Critical Care and Burns, Surgical Procedures Video Library, Surgical Cricothyroidotomy. The following video demonstrates an invasive surgical procedure which may result in harm to patients or healthcare providers and should only be performed by a medical professional. This video is not intended to be a substitute for clinical training. The University of California San Diego does not assume any responsibility or liability for any injury or damage to any person or property arising from the use of this video. By the end of the video, the participant should be able to number one, identify the surface markings and structures to be noted when performing a surgical cricothyroidotomy. Number two, describe the indications and complications of surgical cricothyroidotomy. Indications for surgical cricothyroidotomy. Number one, inability to visualize the vocal cords. Number two, severe maxillofacial trauma with resultant distortion of the normal upper airway anatomy or bleeding resulting in an obscured view of the vocal cords. Number three, strict immobilization of the cervical spine is required. In terms of the required equipment, a number 11 blade, an airway in the form of either an endotracheal tube or a shyly tracheostomy, varying sizes from 4 to 8 O, a 10 cc syringe to allow for adequate inflation of the tube cuff, where available suction, prep, and an O2 source. In terms of patient positioning, the patient should be in a supine position with their head in a neutral position. If there are no concerns for an unstable cervical spine injury, then the patient may be placed in an extended or sniffing position. Prior to inserting the definitive airway, the cuff should be inflated to ensure that it is intact. From the standpoint of the approach and exposure, the operating surgeon should stand on the right side of the patient. The key step in this procedure is palpating the cricothyroid membrane which is located between the thyroid cartilage superiorly and the cricoid cartilage inferiorly. Prior to creating an incision, it is important for the surgeon to stabilize the tracheal laryngeal complex with the left hand. The incision should be placed directly over the cricothyroid membrane using a number 11 blade. Technical points. There is debate among surgeons with regards to the optimal type of incision, whether it be vertical or horizontal. Advocates of a vertical incision state that it is an extensile incision and may help to avoid iatrogenic injury to the anterior jugular veins. Those that advocate for a horizontal incision state that a single incision may be created which is taken through the skin as well as subcutaneous tissues and directly into the airway, thereby avoiding two separate incisions. Difficulty may be encountered upon inserting the actual endotracheal tube or tracheostomy. To this end, the handle of the knife may be inserted and rotated 90 degrees to create a larger opening within the actual airway. Alternatively, if available, a hemostat or tracheal dilators may be inserted into the cricothyroidotomy and then spread, thereby allowing um, easier insertion of the definitive airway. If insertion of an initial endotracheal tube or tracheostomy proves difficult, then inserting a tube of a smaller diameter may also be beneficial. Complications of surgical cricothyroidotomy may be classified as immediate or delayed. Immediate complications include iatrogenic injury or laceration of the anterior jugular veins, the trachea, or the esophagus. Creation of a false passage into tissues may delay the procedure 
and be associated with significant hypoxemic complications. Aspiration is always a possibility with this procedure. Delayed complications include subglottic or laryngeal stenosis, hoarseness, vocal cord paralysis, post-procedure management. It is crucial that once the definitive airway is obtained, the tube be secured. Due to the high likelihood of aspiration in this setting, a post-procedure fiber optic bronchoscopy is highly recommended both for tube confirmation as well as for secretion clearance. At UCSD, all patients undergoing a surgical cricothyroidotomy are brought to the operating room where they undergo a formal tracheostomy. Surgical cricothyroidotomy is a potentially life-saving procedure. Proper identification of landmarks is critical to success. An understanding of the indications and meticulous technical execution may avoid complications and pitfalls inherent to this life-saving procedure. Once again, thank you for joining us. My name is Dr. Dennis Kim with the UC San Diego Division of Trauma, Surgical Critical Care and Burns.